Every new camera that comes out comes with impressive specs, you know, at least on paper, and says it can do this and it can do this and it's lighter and it's faster and, and this, that, and the other. Great, but really what does that, that mean or what is the benefit to us as directors or cinematographers is that allows us to tell stories more quickly uh, and with better results and allows us to be more creative. Canon C700 represents the next kind of evolutionary step in terms of uh, digital capture. It's amazing when we're looking, I mean, these, it's we're almost high noon and these clouds are not blown out. Yeah. It's got a sensor that is tremendously sensitive in the toe of the curve, and I just love that. I love having all that information down there and knowing that it's gonna come up uh, to where I want it without dragging up any color noise. So as I designed this uh, shot list and the storyboards was really to, to design, you know, authentic short film piece about three real world people in Western America. Um, and that will really show off the beauty and the power of this camera and what it can do for cinematographers today. So I've got plenty of detail in the shadows here, even though I've exposed down to protect all these highlights, because I don't want any of the clouds up here to burn out. And so uh, I know I've got a tremendous palette to work with, even though we're in a, you know, a, basically a very contrasty daylight scene. There's right. the energy there. That's it. What I look for when I'm, when, when I'm first looking at a camera system is I'm looking at how it's laid out and how easy and quick it is to configure into different scenarios. Because in you know on set we have to be able to go from handheld to steady cam to dolly to low mode and you know being able to set the camera up in a way that is efficient to move from each one of those modes. That is so great. Yeah that's yeah, that's, that's in focus. That's, that's in focus. focus. Yeah. There was one shot and one scene that I was just really in love with on the second pitch of this steep route called Tarzan on the, the grotto wall cliff above Aspen. And that was um, where I was up maybe 100 feet or so and filming out as Ben went out a very steep roof. And I envisioned that with a very wide angle lens, but just about a half hour before final light. This is sort of what I love about what we do. You know, we can take, you know, a piece of technology like this and, you know, put it in places that you normally wouldn't be able to. And, you know, I was 300 feet away and, you know, had a wireless transmitter on, I had a wireless remote focus system and we could operate the camera down here. We're giving Tyler the ability to, to do what he needed to do operating. We did, we did have, the only PL C700 camera in the world was being hauled up in a haul bag, you know, clipped to one or two carabiners and up it went there. And so we definitely had to exercise some great safety measures as best we could to, uh, to keep it from falling to the ground. The monitor, okay. Okay. So you can make whatever adjustments you need to you do. You got it. Uh, oh, good. Could we even come close to bubble? <laughs> okay, we're ready to shoot here, guys. Right. What really excites me about the C700 is it's incredibly easy to use. And I'm not just saying that. I had about a half hour training on this camera before I started operating with it. The menu system is really well thought out in that there are certain changes that we make all the time in terms of our ISO, our white balance, uh, our frame rate speeds, very easy to access. But where the rubber hits the road is, does it look good and does it please me as a viewer that I'm emotionally connected to my subjects? That's what matters to me as a director and that's where this excites me, is that as we film from you know, dusk to dawn, high altitude light, to interior scenes in a bar scene or in a moodily lit distillery. And we're still seeing detail in, this, in the bright sky during midday and still seeing texture in the shadows, um, which is pretty impressive. You know, when we were shooting it, even to my eye, it looked like there was nothing in his face, but there it is. Yeah. And, and now let's go right back into our uh, Rec 709 and just bring the bottom up just a little bit. There we go. The light was falling so fast, and I lit the scene, balanced it, and the shock was that when I looked away from the monitor, there was so little light, I, I almost jumped out of my shoes because I said, I could barely see this person. But on the monitor, he was perfectly balanced to the exterior. You could make an instantaneous decision just to pop over to 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. And uh, that happened almost instantaneously, and I love that. It, it starts to infuse a life and a, and a breath into the water droplets themselves, and they come alive. And so that's what the slow motion allows us to do. 
Codex has been working along with our partner Canon to make sure that we can record all those formats from the camera, 4K uncompressed up to 120 frames per second and raw, even further 2K up to 240 frames per second. Canon wanted to expand upon what the camera could do with this current sensor and introduce anamorphic viewing on this and capture. And that has also been accomplished. We're gonna shoot through dusk on an anamorphic lens and we're gonna to continue to shoot until the stars come out. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous, huh? Okay. I bet you we'll get this. I bet we'll get something stupendous. The Canon Cine lenses, their Cine Primes and also their Cine Zoom, I mean, set a real high standard for film quality and you know, glass and image quality. I can take these, these Cine lenses, blow it wide open, um, very shallow focus, and on this Super 35 sensor, we're getting just a beautiful bokeh, amazing roll off, uh, very pleasing flares. The Canon color science and what it does for skin tones is really authentic. And beyond authentic, it's simply, it's pleasing. And a lot of these things we shot on the long end of the, the Canon 30 to 300, and they, they just hold up really, really well. When we're shooting a, a feature or a project, we live in this world where this looks pretty much like it's going to to look and then we never really see totally what we have until we get into the color correction suite. My name is Billy Hobson and uh, I am a colorist and I'm also a DI editor here at Shed. We use the Canon Cinema RAW uh, development kit to make 16-bit RGB DPXs and then we utilized a ACES workflow 2P3 to do the color grading. I wanted to show how film-like the capabilities were and I think that we were very successful in doing that and it was very easy to move whatever information in the shadows or the highlights around. I was really surprised at how much range the camera had and how much we could really pull out of the details, uh, especially in the blacks. The, I think the blacks held up really well. It was really actually pretty easy to time and I think you know, we went with a very neutral, natural uh, sort of correction to really let the camera's strength shine. At the distillery, we had one backlit shot, and I had an intense amount of backlight on some steam. And in the SDR uh, version, it looked fine, but grading on the uh, Canon 2420, a high dynamic range, it had power, and it had detail that I just wasn't seeing in the standard dynamic range. I think the C700 is a tool for people to look at who are shooting features, for people who also want a great camera for shooting documentaries, that they're going to find that this camera gives them a very beautiful palette to work with. And in shooting 4K high dynamic range, I don't think that you can do any better at the moment. You know, I think it really sets a new standard for all of us as directors and DPs of what we have access to as a creative tool.